So a few years ago, when, when Dylan was nine or ten, <laughs> he said that there. Damn it! I thought he forgot. I uh, I was on this nifty little cable access show. called American Idol. <laughs> and uh, I remember like top three. So it was me and Archie and Saisha. I'm gonna assume you're cheering me again and not the other two, but that's, that's just, I know the guy who rose his hand earlier probably voted for the other two, that's totally fine. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so they, they, they take all of us in to record um, uh, the, the winner single so that they kind of have it in King. So somewhere out there is two other versions of this song that most of you, if not all of you, have never and will never hear. And so I remember like hearing the song and being like, okay. Can we like rock it up a little bit? And I'm like, yeah, we'll try. And I said, okay, can I change like this one line? Can we like rewrite it? Uh, no. Nope. <laughs> so I thought, okay, I'll record it because like odds are like I'm not gonna win. And then you guys had to go and screw it up. <laughs> I've had this really weird, conflicted relationship with this song, and I, I it, for no other reason than, I guess I, was, I, I, had, I felt up to this point that it just, it didn't represent um, where I wanted to be musically, which is ridiculous. Because where I want to be musically is happy and making a living at it. So I had this weird epiphany, I guess like last year. And even after I had the epiphany, which I guess then makes it not an epiphany, I still didn't play the song. And uh, we, have a, we have a private gig coming up and they asked us if, if we would play this song. Okay. It's a private event. It's the private part of private event. You're blowing the main part of private event. And so we had to start kind of rehearsing it and pulling it together. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm playing this song because it's a big part of, of my story, I guess. That's great. And as we started really kind of working through the song, like I, I kind of refound what initially got me excited about this song. It's so weird sometimes how, uh, even as somebody who's playing these songs, um, how a song can like transport you to a particular space and a particular time. And so I immediately, when we play this song now, I go back to, um, 2008. Again, Dylan with 9 or 10, just to be clear. I will zero. We were in Atlanta the other night, somebody was really pro Jeff. <laughs> said, You're going to Hollywood, Jeff! Yeah. Anyway, so I, that was a side trick. And uh, so in my head, I'm back in 2008 with the Sweepy Bangs haircut. <laughs> and like, like a, just a, a cute little My Buddy stuff beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
przynajmniej. And uh, just feeling like I had no idea what was on the other side of that. And I sit here 11 years later. Dylan's now 2021. After the show, I'm gonna. I'm gonna learn that boy some things. <laughs> About respecting your elders. I don't know. <laughs> I could just rain on this song all day. I think we should just play it. <laughs> 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 